Galaxy International School, a leading educational institution in the country, has held the 17th edition of their annual Science and Makers Fair. The fair is organized to enable students to share ideas and exchange thoughts, thereby creating opportunity for the students to showcase their achievements, which motivates them to continue to enjoy the field of science. Some of the students displayed their science work and explained the theories behind them to parents and well wishers who were present. Hydrogen peroxide. Food coloring. This is potassium iodide. I boiled some banana peels and then decanted it and let it dry for about 30 minutes. Then after that I blended it and then I added a bit of hydrochloric acid to the puree and set it with a glass rod and added glycerine, which is the plasticizer. So it's responsible for the plastic nature of it. And honey can also be used as an alternative plasticizer. And I added a bit of sodium hydroxide to it and then mixed it and put it on a baking sheet. Put in the, in the oven in an, uh, for about an hour at a temperature of about 120 degrees Celsius. And this is where it goes. So it's, also, it's very good for the environment. It can be used as an alternative for rubbers and food packaging. Hydroxide and aluminum foil. So we make a sodium hydroxide solution by adding about 100 cm cube of water and then putting about 20 pieces of aluminum foil. The reaction here is an endothermic reaction. As you can see, it has started reacting already. Into the balloon, and then when we are done, we'll test for the hydrogen gas using a glowing spirit. So we'll use fire to test for it, and then a pop sound will be heard to indicate the presence of hydrogen gas. So it's done. So now we have in the balloon hydrogen gas. So we are testing, we are testing to show that indeed hydrogen gas is present in the balloon, which there will be a pop sound. Making us making the hydrogen bomb. The main process that we did here was electroplating. And now electroplating is simply coating the surface of a metal with another metal. So first of all, we had an iron nail. And so using materials, which was a copper strip, copper two sulfate solution, an iron nail, and a charge, an electric charge. So the battery gave us the electric current that we used here. I was able to coat the surface of this iron nail that you see here with the copper strip that you see here. So let me give a live demonstration. Speaking to ghananewsonline.com.gh, the chairperson of the Parent Teachers Association, Mrs. Marion Opoku, explained that it was refreshing for parents that were present at the fair seeing their children make real all the scientists' theories and lessons. Um, I think it's a good thing going around seeing the students putting into practice what they've learned in the classroom. I think I must commend the school and the students for being able to come out with practical aspects of what they've been taught in the classroom. I think that we, we keep saying that our educational system is all book, 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 and uh, there's no practicality to the knowledge they acquire. I think from this, it's a very good innovation that the children are being taught of the practical aspect of what they learn in the classroom. So I will encourage um, the teachers to keep giving off what they give off best. And 
we encourage the students as well to partake in it because it's not only science. I see the economists also doing things to really bring down the knowledge of the GDP and whatever, whatever they've learned. So it's a good thing to just come around and see your children having maybe a science theory that has been taught, putting into practice. Because I saw a guy coating nail with copper. And it looks very simple, but that is the basis of what industry is doing. Even necklaces and earrings that women wear is practically the same theory that is put into practice to get what we have. So I think this is a science fair and we encourage schools to come and see what they are doing so that other children will also benefit from this. It's a different thing being taught book in the classroom and it's a different thing practicalizing it with um, elements and other stuff you have around. It brings home the knowledge to you. And from this, I think that every child will be conscious when they are doing anything, maybe subconsciously trying to deduce if what the teacher told me I can put into practice this way or that way. In the form of preservation of maybe fruits and vegetables, we see what the children have done. And there are basic things that we do at home, but we normally don't put our, because we don't know the scientific part of it, we just do it and we, we just go. But if you have a little knowledge and you are putting it into practice, I think it makes the whole thing very concrete. The Adenta Municipal Coordinator for STEM Education, Madam Ruth Papatunde, expounds that the Municipal Education Directorate is impressed by the innovation expected by the students at the 17th edition of the fair. Shows they've presented, looking at the kids and their age doing a presentation. It means that they really know what they are about and I was highly impressed. Some of the artwork, the science, the English column where you have to win an award. I was so impressed about the whole program. And then the musical column too, the guy on the music was doing very great. So at least all the corners we visited, the art, the drum session and what have you. It was so nice and I'm really impressed about it. Yes, we've been supporting most of the artists uh, with Madame Millicent, who had always been with them. We come, if they have any challenge, we help them. We also need help, we also see them. So there had been a collaboration between Galaxy and then Adenta Municipal Education Office.